In this video, I'm going to show you how to set an app lock in your Samsung phone without installing any third-party app. So Samsung phones don't have a built-in app lock, and because of this, many people install third-party apps, which can be a problem for the phone. So the best solution to this is using an app lock from Samsung. And we can do this by creating a secure folder. So now I'll show you how to set it up. First, just go to Settings. Then in Settings, just search for Secure Folder. After that, you'll find Secure Folder written. So just click on it. And over here, they'll have a few things written, which you'll just have to read. And then click on Continue. You'll have to give them permissions, such as calendar contacts. So just go through this, click on Continue. And now it's creating it. So this may take some time, but once it's ready, you'll have a folder which you can only access with a pin or fingerprint. And in that folder, you can have all of your apps which you want to lock. So now it's set up, and they're asking us what security type we want. So for now, I'll just select Pattern, then put any pattern I want. Then there's an option to enable fingerprint. So just click on that and click on Next. So now, as you can see, the secure folder is created. So the first thing you'd want to do is manage the apps inside this folder. So just click on the plus button that's here. And here, you can add any apps into this folder. So if I want to put WhatsApp, I can search for it. Then just select it. After that, you can keep adding more apps. And once you're done, just click on Add. That's at the bottom right. And as you can see, WhatsApp has been added. And this is pretty much how it works. You can keep adding apps into the secure folder. And you can only access these by putting in the pattern or your fingerprint. And one thing you'll have to note is that all the apps that you've added are separate from the apps on your phone. So I'll show you what I mean. If I go to WhatsApp, as you can see, my chats haven't come, and they're asking me to sign up again. So by doing this, I can have two different WhatsApp accounts on one phone. So this is basically how it works. And I'll quickly show you how to access the secure folder. So now I've exited, and I'll show you how to access the secure folder. So just go to the Apps page, then here, you'll find Secure Folder as an app. So click on it. Then here, they'll ask you for your pattern. And now, as you can see, we're inside the Secure Folder, and you can access all the apps. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to use Nearby Share to transfer files between your phone and laptop, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.